Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up with you riding with her? Relax. I offered him a ride since we're both going to the gym. Look, I know we usually ride together, but I wanted to get some extra training in since Samoa Joe basically wants to strangle me to death with his crazy cyborg arm at SmackDown 1500. I'd be happy to help you work on your submissions. It's really the only way you're going to survive the Coquina Clutch. I mean, that little reversal trick you taught him might have worked in their first match, but let's face it, he needs some real training. After all, my MMA record was 24-2. and two. The two losses were DQs for eye gouging, so really, I was undefeated. You training me is a great idea. It could help me survive Samoa Joe. Who knows, maybe even beat him. Good, we'll get started right away. And by the way, I didn't get a chance to congratulate you on winning the Mixed Match Challenge. It actually inspired me. To what, quit? No. Your donation of the $500,000 to that animal shelter in our hometown got me thinking. What can Brooklyn do to help? So I decided to donate a million dollars of my own personal money to the shelter. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, they're naming an entire wing after me. Did you get a wing? Not that I know of. Yeah, I guess 500k isn't really wing money. But hey, I have the director's info. I'll see if they can at least name something after you. Maybe a maintenance closet or a bathroom stall. I'll let you know when we can get started on that training, partner. So what, are you friends with her now? No, it's not like that. Well, it seems like that. I mean, first you're riding with her, and now you're training with her? Did you forget this is the same person who tormented us for 20 years? I got a ride with her one time. And besides, she's changed, okay? I mean, she just donated a million dollars of her own money to an animal shelter. Bad people don't do that. How naive are you? She's obviously lying about the donation to try and get under my skin. There's no way she would ever actually do something good like that. She's always been fake, and this is no different. Can't assume any of that. I'm not assuming she's a terrible person. I know that. And I thought you did too. Come on. That mural's kind of freaking me out. It feels like you're watching me from every angle. I am. But focus here. So when Samoa Joe gets you in the Coquina Clutch this time... Uh, how do you know he'll get me in it? It's a submission match, which means he'll be going for it early and often, so you have to be prepared. And what I was going to say before you interrupted me... Sorry, won't happen again. What I was going to say is your little trick you used against him ten years ago when you rolled backwards to get the win isn't going to work this time. He'll be ready. And even if you pulled it off, it won't do any good because this is a submission Rivalry match. match. Rivalry submission match. Right. So I'm Samoa Joe, and I'm going to put you in the Coquina Clutch. Try to escape. Oh, I tap, I tap, I tap! Uh, that was uh, pathetic. I know. How am I ever gonna beat Samoa Joe? I mean, once she cinches in that arm around my neck, it's all over. Goodbye, WWE Championship. Goodbye, Trachea. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, big ring in the sky. Hopefully. Okay, stop, you're spiraling. It's not about his arm, it's about his legs. Huh? I studied hours of footage of Samoa Joe locking in the Coquina Clutch, you're welcome, and I discovered a hidden flaw that's going to allow you to counter it and beat him. Give me your phone. Voice password? Trey and Peyton Royce forever? Voice recognition volume too low. Please try again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever. It's a joke. Please don't tell her. Anyway, like I said, I watched a lot of tape on Samoa Joe, and I discovered this. Watch his ankles. See how he crosses them? He does it every time. That's your opening to beat him. I, I, I don't get it. Of course you don't. Let me show you. Put me in the coquina clutch and make sure you cross your ankles like Joe does. What the heck was that? The secret to not getting the life choked out of you and walking away with your WWE championship. <sighs> wow, this is weird to say with all our history, but I don't know what I'd be doing right now without your help. I guess I have been in a charitable mood lately. Well, seriously, thanks for teaching me this. So, I guess we're good to go now? Are you kidding? You haven't actually learned how to do the counter yet. 
on your back. We're going to start with a hip motion. I'll film on your phone so you can watch it back later. It locked again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever. Welcome to the special 1500th episode of SmackDown Live. SmackDown Live has been the home of some amazing matches over the years, and tonight we continue that tradition with the long-awaited, much-anticipated battle between Trey and Samoa Joe. This submission match for the WWE Championship is seven years in the making, going back to Trey's debut when he shocked the WWE Universe and Samoa Joe. But tonight on SmackDown 1500, will Joe finally get his revenge? Hey, what are you doing? Studying my training footage. I think I actually have a chance tonight, thanks to Brooklyn. Yeah, about her. I don't want to get into it again. I need to focus on my match. I actually wanted to apologize. I might have been acting a little crazy lately. A little? Okay, slightly more than a little. I called the animal shelter that Brooklyn said she donated the money to, and turns out she wasn't lying. See? I told you she's changed. I think I just got caught up with us competing against each other in the Mixed Match Challenge. And then I felt like I was losing my best friend to pretty much the worst person I could imagine. But maybe she's not the worst person after all. There's probably some terrible dictators or criminals on death row who are slightly worse. That's very big of you to say that. So you should be cool with the fact that Brooklyn is going to be in my corner tonight then, right? I need her out there to coach me through the technique she taught me. Totally cool with that. Not bothered at all. Besides, I have a big announcement to focus on. About what? Well, I decided to get back to concentrating on the list. And there's one thing on there I always wanted to accomplish, but it never seemed possible. Especially when Brooklyn was GM. No offense to your new BFF. But since this is a very special episode of SmackDown Live, it's the perfect time to make it happen. Good luck tonight. Seriously. Hey, you finally said it. And I meant it. Tonight, we celebrate 1,500 episodes of SmackDown Live. On nights like this, we look back at the amazing superstars who helped us get here. For me, personally, when I was an awkward teenager, the thought that I could someday do this seemed like a total long shot. But I was inspired by women like Beth Phoenix, The Bellas, Natalia, and Mickey James. Around that time, I created this list of goals I'd someday want to accomplish if I ever made it to WWE. Well, I think I've more than made it. But there's one thing on this list that all those women I mentioned accomplished. But I never have, because it's kind of impossible now. But if I've learned anything on my journey, it's that nothing is truly unattainable. The goal I'm referring to is winning the title that I grew up watching, the WWE Divas Championship. Like I said, kind of hard to do considering it hasn't existed in almost 15 years. But I'm proposing that WWE bring the Divas Championship back so I can honor the women who blazed a path for me and prove that no dream is ever hopeless or unimaginable. Wait, what? And you want me to tell her right now? I'm sorry, but I was just told to inform you that the Divas Championship is already spoken for. Already spoken for? It hasn't existed in over a decade. How is that even possible? They said you would hear more in the very near future. That's all I know. What just happened? I have no idea, but apparently someone in the back has other plans for the Divas Championship. 